Today we're going to play at the quick kiln, the new GPK quick kiln. And we're going to melt a little copper bar, some scrap copper. So first thing we're going to do is put about a three quarters of a teaspoon or so of our flux in the cru graphite crucible. And we're going to put these pieces of scrap copper in. And we're going to put it in the little kiln. And we'll pour us the copper bar today. We'll take the lid off. Take the spacer off. And we'll put our crucible in. Center it. Put the spacer back on. And we put the lid a little bit off center like this. And what that does is the flame coming up comes across the top of the crucible and seals the atmospheric oxygen from getting into it and then allows it to go off. Now it's going to take about 10 or 15 minutes from a cold start for that to melt. And I'm not going to bore you right now, so I'll just sign off here and then I'll get back on back to you when it's uh, just about to be ready to be poured. Okay guys, I'm back with you. It's been about 10 minutes and uh, things are definitely starting to melt in there. The little GPK quick kiln was designed for melting small amounts of gold and silver and copper as well. And of course, copper melts at a much higher temperature. Make a little room here than does either gold or silver so the copper is a good is a good uh, demonstration thing um, basically you can melt up to three ounces of silver or up to almost six ounces of gold at a time with the GPK quick kiln since gold weighs about twice as much as silver and or copper um, it uh, obviously it'll melt about six ounces, pretty close to it. We just use regular propane here. We don't use any fancy map gas or anything. Just a little cheap propane torches. I'm going to put a pair of gloves on because things get pretty serious when you take the lid off of here. And at any rate, our copper is totally melted. It's fluid at this point. I want to build a couple 300 degrees extra on there because you don't want it solidifying before you get a chance to pour it into the graphite mold. And so at any rate it looks like it's it's about ready to pour. And use our little cheap ass mini tongs here for pouring small amounts they work alright. And at any rate, we'll go ahead here and we'll lift the lid up here, take the lid off and set it down. We'll take the spacer ring off and we'll grab our crucible with our little mini tongs. We'll come over here to the graphite mold and we'll pour us a copper bar and we'll set this back down you move this little plastic bag here because it's liable to melt from the heat we'll put the spacer ring back on place the lid back on just let it sit here and cook for a little while as you can see the crucible is glowing red hot uh, at several hundred degrees and our copper bar is starting to cool off here in our graphite mold. Once our once our mold cools off a little bit, I'll get a, a bigger set of tongs, and we'll pick our mold up, and we'll dump our little bar over, and make a little bit of room here while that's solidifying in there. Graphite dissipates the heat real quick. 
so a guy can kind of push the envelope a little bit here for time reasons. Anyhow, we'll see if we can grab our mold and we'll pour our little bar out. We'll set our mold back up there and we'll turn our bar over. And then we'll reach over here and get a suitable device, good old hammer, and we'll just start chipping the flux off of the edges. And we'll kind of work our way around here. And once we work our way around here, that flux will readily come off. And there you have basically a 31 gram copper bar which is a troy ounce and make these really really pretty or whatever if you if you're pouring gold or silver and there's a little flux stuck on it if you just put it in a little bit of vinegar for a few hours it'll dissolve the flux right off of it then you don't get a bunch of hammer marks on it anyhow there we go GPK quick kiln um, inexpensive, portable, take it with you any place that you want to go, effective, and just wanted to give you a little demo. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.